Also tonight, reaction is ranging from true excitement to hold on, not so fast. Masks are being dropped by the CDC, and if you've had the vaccine, saying goodbye to them both indoors or outdoors. If you are fully vaccinated, you can start doing the things that you had stopped doing because of the pandemic. The official word there and Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear then came out quickly to say the state will follow that new advice. He has scheduled a news conference to talk about it tomorrow morning at 1030. The night team's Tyler Emery is joining us live right now. She's been talking with local businesses about what this means for them. And uh, Tyler, you've been finding that this isn't an easy decision for some. Doug, exactly. It is not all excitement. Even walking through Nulu here earlier today, plenty of people were still wearing masks, even outdoors after the announcement. They tell me it still may be a while before they change their habits. No more masks are required for fully vaccinated Americans indoors, but it doesn't mean we'll see an immediate change. As a business owner, it, the first thing that I thought of was like, OK, what am I going to do? for my employees. Business owners like Katherine McDowell, who runs her restaurant Naive in Butchertown, says the new CDC mask update brings uncertainty for all businesses. Never underestimate like your ability to adapt. She plans to hold a staff meeting Sunday to vote as a team what they'll do, choose to go maskless or still require all staff and customers to wear them. Especially with customers, you know, we don't know like who's going to be vaccinated. That's the issue too for co-owner of Headliners Music Hall, William Hardison. The venue is holding its first show since March 2020 this Friday night. Until we reach herd immunity, we, you know, we're going to follow the science and uh, we're concerned for the safety of the bands the fans um, and our staff. Hardison says the music venue will still require masks until there's a system to verify who's vaccinated or not, or any sort of mask mandate is gone entirely. This statement does show the importance of the vaccination program. Uh, it is working. Go on out, uh, get that shot. Let's defeat this pandemic once and for all. Governor Andy Bashir also urging vaccinations Thursday as he announced Kentucky will immediately change its mask mandate to match the CDC guidance. The new update does have a few exceptions. Anyone not fully vaccinated is required to still wear one, and even those fully vaccinated need to as well in congregate places, on public transportation, in healthcare settings like hospitals, and in prisons. I think right now we're at the tail end of it, like we, we think that we are. Scientifically, I'm not sure if we, if we know that yet. I think it's good news and steps in the right direction. Mixed reaction on the streets as some remain cautious about immediately ditching their masks. Others say they're still processing the news and are still deciding what to do after more than a year of mandatory masks. And these business owners tell me it is good news and a positive sign about coming out of the pandemic, but they say it is yet again another chapter of unchartered territory, which may mean we'll be seeing signs like these sticking around. Live tonight in Nulu for the night team, I'm Tyler Emery.